it's commonly believed that monitoring your swing timers as Fury is pretty useless. I disagree with this belief, so in this video I'm going to be making the case, or at least trying to make a case, for why you would want to monitor your swing timers. It's important to understand, though, that when I'm making this case, I'm not saying that knowing your swing timers is actually important. I'm not saying that it is vital to know in order to be good at playing Fury. I'm just saying that it is not useless. Some of the best Fury Warriors in the world don't monitor their swing timers, and they're still the best Fury Warriors in the world. That said, my belief is that if they were monitoring their swing timers and able to, to understand the implications behind when, they, when their melee hits occur, they could be better. I realize how arrogant that sounds, and the obvious uh, counter-question or counter-argument would be, well, if you're monitoring your swing timers, why aren't you better than them? And my answer is, I'm working on it. So the first scenario that it might be useful to know your swing timers is in the case where you are enraged, you're above 75 rage, and you're holding off on rampage just to maximize your enrage up time. And you're trying to decide, do I rampage now, or do I uh, use an, another ability? And so you want to prevent the scenario of using your ability, having auto attacks land, and then during, like, during that ability's GCD, and then overcapping your rage. So if you know that you're about to melee swing, you can decide, hey, I'm not going to use that ability. I'm instead going to rampage so I don't overcap. The second scenario is that it may be optimal to delay using an ability uh, to wait for an auto attack in order to rampage so that you get enraged and then use the ability. This can occur when an auto attack is going to happen shortly after you would use an ability. So if, if you're waiting, you can just delay it for a tenth to a quarter of a second before rampaging. Similarly, you can delay the ability usage to let the auto attack hit and then get that rampage off on a short lived mob that nor like normally you wouldn't get two GCDs on. Knowing your swing timer can allow you to optimize your movement even even more because if you have to leave a target while it's still alive, it might be worthwhile to spend that extra tenth to a quarter of a second waiting for your next round of auto attacks to get that extra rage, get that extra damage. Anyway, these are just some of the things that I was able to think of off the top of my head for why it might be valuable to know your swing timers as Fury. I realize that none of these cases are things that happen all the time. These are not cases that are going to make a very big impact on your DPS. However, I do think that by knowing these things, it can improve your DPS somewhat. I hope this conversation has been somewhat interesting to you. If you think that I'm wrong or an idiot, by all means, let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.